Aging Matters. This is a program that's provided by and sponsored by the Berks County Area Agency on Aging. My name is Ann Barlett and I'm the Public Advocacy and Outreach Manager for the agency. Our show this evening is on libraries and a little bit about accessing libraries, particularly targeted for older adults. I'm happy to have with me this evening my guest, mm -hmm. Colleen Stamm, who is the director, the library director for the Why Missing Public Library. Welcome. Thank you, Colleen, Thank you. for being here. I'm excited about the show. I, I think that um, libraries may be a hidden gem. Uh, not, you know, in our community, I think we uh, were engaged in them as young children, and then somehow they sort of disappear <laughs> from our, <laughs> our thoughts and, and our actions to get to the library, but they offer so much. So I really would like to talk about a little bit about um, some of the programs and, and where you are and what's happening. Um, focused particularly for older adults, or we call them seniors here in our community. <laughs> so um, what I'd like to start with first is we um, tell us, I guess, the basics. We were talking specifically about Why Missing Library. We've, we've worked together a little bit. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us where you're located, uh, a little bit about um, your library. And I think you have some photos to show us, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, the library is conveniently located um, at the corner of Penn Avenue and, um, and Reading Boulevard. Okay. So, um, so we're easy access. We have um, free parking, free street parking. Um, and um, yeah, and... Uh, the library hours. The library hours, yes. Um, we are open um, Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., oh, okay. Friday from 9 to 5, and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wow. So, good yeah. good opportunities to yeah. get there. Yeah, we're open 59 hours a week, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, plenty of opportunities to get there. So, good. Yeah, so do you want to show us? I mean, I know you, you want to show sure. us the building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have some pictures here um, of the outside of the building. Um, and there we are. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's the front that's we're the facing. Front. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was one of our programs. And now that the we front had. is on. The front is actually facing um, uh, Reading Boulevard. Okay. So, All righty. Um, and then so the, the side of it is on Penn Avenue, and the parking is just street parking. Okay. But, good. But there's usually um, ample street parking. Okay. Um, uh, to find. Okay. Good. A spot to get there. Um, and we have handicap accessible too, um, which is actually the right entrance. there. Okay. Yeah, the entrance is handicap. Um, so, yeah. Good. Um, and this is all of our staff. Uh -oh. so. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah. All righty. Super. So let's go back a little bit, I guess, in time, as sure. it were. Um, the With the county, I know there's like a county library system. And, and libraries as part of that. Yes. But why missing public library is not part of that county system. You, yeah. you kind of are standalone. So yeah. I think some of it, tell us about the history, how the library came to be. Yeah, yeah, the library is actually over 100 years old. Um, we actually okay. started back in 1913. Um, and um, we are just very fortunate that the, the borough of why missing is very supportive um, of all the things that we do. Um, and they provide over 50% of our funding um, okay. so um, so we're very fortunate um, yes in that respect so but we do a lot with the county uh, library system um, I meet monthly with with the other library directors um, and we also share resources oh, and, okay and you can drop our items off at another library um, so there's connectivity so there as is, well yeah. and, and discussions so, and yeah. do you run some jointed things maybe like do you ever do, do like book of the month whatever and it, you participate in the yeah same? we do okay. um, um, yeah we do the same summer reading program um, with that all the county libraries do um, and uh, and a lot of the the programs we do together. Okay, um, so so it's yeah. good. You have kind of the best of all worlds. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I assume that it allows you some freedom also with a standalone to to be able to kind of do some unique and interesting things. Yes. So and I think we're we're going to talk about one of those or a couple projects later on in the show that you have the uh, ability, the privilege, uh, to do. So. Since you, we talked about the hours of an availability to get there, what do I need as a person to do? I 
you know, we are familiar as a school kid with library cards and the Dewey Decimal System and everything else. So do we have a library card? Do I pay for it? Is there a membership? Yeah, yeah, actually there is, there's no fee to use the, the library at all. Anybody can get a library card. We just need a, a driver's license or a state issued ID. Um, or, or even if you don't have that, if you have, you know, something like a photo, like a passport okay. and something that has their current address on, like a piece of mail, a lease agreement or, or a utility bill. So, um, so it's actually quite easy, and it takes less than a minute to, to get a library <laughs> card. Um, and we offer cards, you know, from babies, you know, all the way up through adults. So, okay. um, right. there's so no yeah, so there's and no we can limits. just get it and use it the same day yeah. we're there. Yeah, as soon as you get it, you can use it right away. So, okay, good. Yeah. So let's um, <clears throat> talk about some of the particular you know targeting seniors the opportunities for seniors senior citizens at the library you know we think i guess i think children you know we think of the typical child going to the library but certainly there's a lot of opportunity for older adults there is, yeah. Yeah, I think everybody thinks of the library and they think of, you know, when they have children and they mm -hmm. come and um, think of all the things we have for, for the young, mm -hmm. for the younger patrons. But we have a lot, um, a lot of opportunities at the Wyoming Public Library and I think countywide as well um, for, for seniors. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have an adult programming coordinator who, oh. who, um, who plans programs. Okay. Um, she plans uh, six to eight programs a month. Um, six to eight a yeah, month. So that's on, on varying program several topics. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we have everything from from Mahjong Club that meets weekly to um, we have a, a veteran speaker series where we bring in a veteran um, uh, once a month to oh, talk okay. about their experiences. Um, we have a local author series. Oh, um, that's nice. Yeah, we have uh, we do some health and wellness programs as well. We offer yoga for everyone, and we did some. We worked. Uh, we had some balance programs to, mm -hmm, to help seniors mm -hmm. with balance okay. and learn some exercises to help with that. So, so um, really, it's not just what I think of in terms of yeah. reading a book. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> or taking yeah. the book out of the library. Yeah, You're I trying to look, it sounds really uh, kind of more well-rounded person. Yeah, I think libraries are really becoming a community center um, more uh, mm -hmm. nowadays. So we're not just books. We have, you know all sorts of uh, activities and yeah. and materials. Um, okay. so. so let's talk about some of the materials. What what can I get there, um, you know, besides books or, or types of books or audio, you know, what are the things that I could access if I was interested in yeah. that outside the special programs? Yeah, we have, like I said, not just books we have. We have audio books, so we have books on CD if you want to listen to. Um, we have a lot of okay. patrons who travel, so they want right. to listen to books in the car. Right. Um, or if they're having trouble reading with eyesight. Um, exactly. We have a so, lot of older adults yeah. who probably love to read, but with vision issues, yep. it makes it difficult and maybe frustrating. So it would be nice to, to yeah. have a, a, a book or, yeah. is, are they any range of books and things that are on audio? I mean, we do, everything yeah. from, you know, a Western or a romance or a mystery yeah. or a history or... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, we have everything, you know, we have, like you said, mysteries and fiction and um, we also have nonfiction as well, if you want to, we have biographies. Oh, um, okay. So, right. um, so we have a, a large audio um, book collection, so, okay. yeah. Um, do you have any... Um, do you do like a magazine? Is there any like routine magazine like subscriptions or something that are that are, you could pick up? Yeah, to read there. Okay. Yeah, we we subscribe to I believe over thirty magazines. Um, oh wow! So some are weekly, some are biweekly, some are monthly. Mm -hmm. So um, everything from from cooking light mm. to uh, to the economist. To so <laughs> check out so, the library for that. Um, okay. Yeah. So we offer uh, magazines. We also offer um, newspapers, uh, the Reading Eagle and the Wall Street Journal and also the New York Times we get the Sunday edition so okay. um, so are those things now I don't know the difference of in terms of th that newspaper since it's a timely news versus magazine versus a book um, are there timelines that I can either take them out or have them for a period of time I would think yeah, yeah, the checkouts are a little different. Okay. Yeah, yeah, books you can check out longer than magazines, um, but everything you can renew um, oh, okay. if you can't finish it in time. Um, and even um, if it's an older book, we, we offer um, 
if you're traveling or going somewhere, we'll check it out longer than the okay. normal checkout so period. So yeah, you just, say, hey, you just have to say, this is going to be unusual. Yeah. I'm going to be here or there. Yeah. So what is the standard? I guess I'll say book checkout or audio checkout yeah. time. Yeah. Well, the audio, the audio books and, and regular books are are checked out for for two weeks, and they can okay. be renewed twice. So you can have it for up to six weeks. Okay. Um, right. As long as nobody's waiting for it, that's the only thing. If it's a, a new bestseller, mm -hmm. there might be somebody waiting for it, and okay. then you wouldn't be able to renew it. But um, right. yeah, um, and um, we also offer DVDs as well. Um, now those are only checked out for one week, but um, but okay. but we have a we have a good collection of of DVDs. And are so they kind of a range point. of newer ones or yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have we have okay. newer ones that are just coming out, and we get them on the day that they're released, huh. <laughs> and we have people waiting for them. Oh, wow, um, great! And then we also have you know some older classic um, mm -hmm. movies as well. Okay. So, yeah, and oh, that's great. All righty, so yeah. we have a lot of those, and what else? So those are the things that I can kind of get and take out. You know the books and you know that kind of thing. But what about other things? And you talked about the special, um, the mahjong. I think you said, and you talked about some of the group activities, whether it be a, a fitness kind of thing, another health or another educational piece, or so. Um, what else could I access? I guess if I come to the library, is there anything else I can do there? Um, I guess what I'm asking, trying to get at, is I um, did um, utilize our my community library, and I accessed their computer to do some kind of research. And so, do you have that type of what? Do you have that we kind do. of availability yeah. or anything else that that I'm not thinking of that yep. might be there? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have um, since uh, we're kind of limited where we are, but we do have um, six public access computers where anybody can come in and, and use the computers. Um, if they need more time, we can we can gladly give more time. But typically, it's an hour a day. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Um, but if you're doing, we, like we offer Ancestry.com, so if you're doing research on yeah, genealogy, that, yeah, that could so, take a long time. <laughs> so yeah, so you just have to let us know um, in advance and then we can, can get you some oh, extra okay. time to do and use some of the other resources that we have. Okay. Um, and we do offer one-on-one um, -on -one technology assistance too. That's what I was so, going to ask, so what if um, I don't even have a start? Yeah, so if you don't know where to start, um, yeah, we do, we have, a, we have two staff members that you can make an appointment with and, oh, okay. and, and they'll help you either with your device, you can bring it in if you just oh, got a new device okay. or a new phone. So um, you will help with me understanding yeah. this because I did just run into a lady who wasn't quite sure, you know, she was thinking ahead, looking at potentially purchasing something yeah. new and wasn't sure if she did so, yeah. who was going to help with, ex you know, updating kind of what's the difference between this old one I have and this one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. good. Yeah, good so, you know so at our library it's by appointment because we okay. only have two staff members who can help, so it has to work. But yeah, you can make an appointment with them. You just have to call the library and, right. and tell them that you need help and, and we're, we're here. <laughs> good. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Good to know. Um, how about anything else? Um, what if I have some documents or anything? Um, are you able to do some simple copying? What about faxing? Yeah. To if I, you know, a lot of times yeah. if, if, if uh, seniors are looking to complete an application or something and they want to make sure it moves quickly, they may, it may be better to email or fax or something. You, do you have that you allow that? Or? Yeah, we, we can copy and you can print and okay. um, at our library. Uh, a lot of libraries do offer faxing. At our library, unfortunately, we're not able to. Okay, so, all right. Um, but yeah, but, but there are a number of libraries that, that are able to. to so, yeah, that. so okay. you just have to call your local library and find out. So, all right. um, yeah. Good. Now, one of the things that I, of course, we started by saying, you know, thinking about um, adults using the library, but I am going to backtrack and say, but we still, I read all the time about things that are being offered for little kids, but are we connecting the grandparent and the child or the, or the great grandparent and the child or? Yeah, yeah, we other programs we have, for that. We yeah, okay. um, yeah, we we have we see at story time every week. Um, there are a lot of grandparents that that bring their grandkids, even okay. if they're just in town for a week oh, um, okay. or or two. Mm -hmm. You could bring them uh, mm -hmm. to the programs. Um, okay. Even in the summertime, we offer a summer reading program, and right. some grandkids come to visit for a week, and and we have them. They come in and and participate in in that program as well. Um, okay. Good. Yeah. So we have that connection still going on. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So let's talk about, I know that um, one of the, have you, the, the photo that you had up of the staff. I don't yeah. know if they're, they're all paid staff or not, but I know so often that in my discussion also with a lot of older adults who are retired, and you know have uh, relaxed a little bit and now are looking for something um, that is going to help enrich them give them some purpose but also something that maybe um, they haven't they're interested in in some way and I, mm -hmm. and I, I had an earlier show with someone else and we were talking about looking at maybe some things that we did as we were younger or hobbies and see how we can then take that and help or do something and so a thought would be the library of course you know yeah. certainly I like to read books and certainly I like to educate children and so is there some volunteer opportunities maybe at the Me library too. that I would think would be you know uh, ideally probably someone walking there locally to to be able to particularly you know if they enjoy I don't know all kinds of things from yeah. from reading and or even research maybe helping with the technology so yeah. so you, you have some volunteer opportunities we do yeah we have volunteers that help with everything from gardening outside oh, um, they come on okay. <laughs> twice a month so okay. um, since we have a nice property yes. um, okay. so so we have a nice group that comes twice a month to help us with the yard and weeding and planting flowers um, and then we also have weekly volunteers that come help put books away um, mm -hmm. and materials mm -hmm. and then um, we also have a volunteer who comes in and helps our children's librarian cut things out for story time oh, okay. or get get ready for story time. Um, so we have we have many different kinds of volunteers, and we also have volunteers okay. that help us with our fundraisers. They bake oh. um, bake goods okay. for for our bake sales and 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 help with with all sorts of things. Okay. So so you different yeah. do do I, I don't you don't think about those yeah. aspects of you do you know so you really have some good opportunities for people that have some interest in something. I, I like the idea of the gardening thing. There are people who just love that but maybe live in an apartment mm -hmm. and so don't really have, you know, they have some box garden kind of things but don't really have the grounds to get down and dirty yeah. as it were and yeah. to be able to help. So that, oh, that would be a great way to be able to offer some of their time and their talent mm -hmm. to assist with something like that. Yeah, okay. and we even have a community garden too, a vegetable garden. Um, oh. So, so we relied on our volunteers to help water that and, and so harvest. So, is the vegetable so, garden right there too? Um, the vegetable garden is right in the back of the library. Oh, I don't okay. know if I have a Jenna? picture of the vegetable garden. Um, I don't think I do. I have all sorts of other things, things yeah. but. Um, uh, but I don't have the vegetable Well, garden. as we're looking but, um, through that, we have some yeah. photos of some programming. If you want to just click one yeah. or two of those or sure. a couple of the... Um, yeah, this was um, a, a program we had um, where we bought in, brought in um, a speaker to speak about Polish traditions. Oh, so um, okay. he just happened to be, um, he had some friends in the Lancaster area and he visited four libraries locally. Mm. So in Berks County, he visited our library and he also went to Muhlenberg. So, oh, okay. um, so that was a... He's, he's not from around the area, so we, we were able to, to get him to come in. <laughs> um, this is our Lego club. Oh, <laughs> um, So, which is very popular. Oh, okay. Um, I think we had like 40 kids there that wow. day. Wow. Um, so, that's the, the other side of the building. Okay. Um, this is our block party. The, I know the photo's a little dark, but this we have... Um, we do a yard sale and block party oh, in oh August. My. So yeah, so uh, we, is that again a part of a fundraiser? Is it that, is. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. The block party is the way we celebrate for the kids at the end of summer. That's their celebration for all their oh, their right. hard, okay. um, their reading and and everything that they've been doing over this. Oh, that's great. The hard work from the summer. So um, and I would then imagine we do the yard help, sale. You certainly could help with that kind of thing, or yeah. as you said, make some things or help with the sale. Yeah. Um, this is our mommy and me yoga okay. um, that we offer for once a month, and we've also had grandparents come too. So that's something oh, um, that's interesting. you can bring your grandkids to, <laughs> okay. to yoga. So it's a, a really nice program. Um, this is our Wiggle Wednesday. Um, we partnered <laughs> with Burke's Ballet um, oh, to offer. Uh, so a you dance. really you've done a lot of partnerships too, and obviously yeah. you're you're really um, not just confined to why missing or things that are happening in that particular with those people in the community you're really mm -hmm. opening it up I think for yes 
patronage of, of folks who live in the community, yeah. but but certainly all kinds of things from special programming, special speakers, mm -hmm. all kinds of activities beyond the book bind. <laughs> yes, yeah. A um, couple of things. We don't have a lot of time, but I would like to mention, I would like you to share, you have some special things, and I think these are just fantastic. So you uh, have a special grant. Um, you yes. want to tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, just last month, um, we got a grant from the American Library Association, um, and we uh, there was only 50 libraries nationwide that were chosen, and only wow. two in Pennsylvania. So we're one of two, um, and we are able to show the Ken Burns and Lynn Novick um, the uh, the Vietnam War documentary series. So, Terrific. Um, Terrific. So That's we got a programming wonderful. kit, and also the the DVD series. So uh, or the series is on a DVD. So okay. So so we're showing the. DVDs um, uh, almost well, pretty much weekly. It's it's every Friday and some Wednesdays. I okay. don't have the exact dates. I'll be sure to check the library. Yeah, so, but okay. it's um it's happening every week. Um, and then we're going to end on Veterans Day on oh. November 11th with a panel of of different veterans to talk about their experiences. That's really so. Yeah, that's terrific. So, that's yeah. terrific. One of two in Pennsylvania and a limited amount nationwide. So that's 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 yeah. great. I think that's yeah. wonderful. And another one that we talked about, you you mentioned, you were telling me some best practice awards. And one that, again, the Y Missing Library received. Tell me about that. Yeah, actually, it was for a community garden. So, so we won um, at the Pennsylvania Library Association um, uh, does awards every year, and okay. and we won an award for our for our community garden, hmm. so our vegetable garden. So in the the family okay. category. Okay. So, so oh, they offer a number of right. awards. So we won in the family category for our our garden. Isn't so, that neat? Um, and it really is a, a great program. I mean, we start from from seeds in, in March, we okay. start planting oh, the right. seeds and, and, um, and germinating the seeds, and then we plant them in the garden, and then we harvest them. Uh, how does, so. uh, uh, is that something that, how do you get involved in that particular aspect? I mean, because I'm sure it's very yeah. limited in terms of your size, the, you know. Yeah. Um, we'll, to participate. To, in oh, it. to participate, yeah. 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 Um, you know, we have, uh, our children's librarian coordinates it all. So, so Christine okay. Siebert is our children's librarian. So, so if you're interested in helping out with that, you can call okay. the library and ask for, for Christine. Okay. Um, but she coordinates um, in doing the program in March when we get the seeds, and then also she coordinates the volunteers to help. Um, Make sure the garden's yep. tended to and watered, and <laughs> yeah. you don't have summer, to worry about so. that too much this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thankfully, <laughs> kind of watered so. itself. Yes, yeah. Okay, super. So. Well, so yeah. I, again, I I, I want to just with a couple of minutes, we have about two minutes left to kind of wrap up some things you've got a lot of things in and outside and around and involved with the library and people should certainly access it for all kinds of things and mm -hmm. so what I would suggest also is that they um, come visit it you've seen it and you know where it is and there's certainly ample parking mm -hmm. as well as um, you are how do I hear about these things how do I get involved yeah. um, can you tell us how to yeah, either contact you where do I read about it where do I access information yeah if you if well, if you go to our website which is www www.wyopublib.org. If you so go to our like website, wyopublib, Wy yeah, okay, okay. .org, um, you can actually uh, sign up for our email newsletters oh, okay. um, and get email reminders about things. Um, or you can is stop by the library. Is there a paper so. at all that, where that is by any chance? Um, uh, yeah, you can stop by the library okay. and sign up for, for things as well. Um, we also put things in the Reading Eagle and the oh, bulletin okay. board section. So, oh, okay. so we try to, to put everything for, in there. So check out the bulletin board section. Or again, visit regularly so yeah. they can participate yes, in all those fun <laughs> things. Good. Yeah. One other thing that I will mention, and then we'll get the phone number again, is that I did want to mention, we mentioned earlier about the, the county library system, and I wanted to say that the Reading Public Library has an opportunity. They have a mobile unit, and they are able to go out to certain um, high-rise apartments that are senior, um, mostly senior um, uh, apartment dwellers, and they have their outreach that they do take some of the things like the mm -hmm. books and the audios. And so if they want that, they can get that on the Reading Public Library site, which is www.readingpubliclibrary.org. Um, so to know more about why I'm missing public library, to access those things, to stop in, I don't remember the hours, can they call? Yes, yes. <laughs> can you give us that yeah, number? Yeah, yeah. The going? phone number for the library is 610-374-2000. Uh, 
2385. So, so please Great. call us with Good. any Good. questions. Or I, I hope so. I hope um, I, we've got to wrap it up, but I thank mm -hmm. you so much for sharing this. It sounds like it's a very active library, and I do encourage everybody to, to visit it and participate in all the different aspects of what they have available to, to people in the community. And again, seniors stay active in all these ways. Um, again, thanks for joining us on Aging Matters. Thank you.